This is code.org, and we're going to investigate, modify, run the program to observe the results. Okay, I see code, I hit run. Uh, okay, so my results are 0 and 8. Let me run it again, see what we got here. 0 and 8. Oh, interesting. So we learned previously math.random outputs a number 0 0.021.0. Uh, zero inclusive, right? However, it looks like if we do this, if we cast, if we ask for an integer, it will actually produce one if we cast it as an integer. And that's what's occurring here. Now, this one's times 10, which is why this can be greater than one sometimes, like it being nine there. Whereas this one is not. So I assume it will always be zero because it's getting cast, and its only options are 0 or 0 0.99, so it will just be 0. All right, run the program several times to observe the results. Does line 5 ever generate 10 or a for the second number? No, it does not, and line 1 never generates 1 notice. Okay, and again, guys, that's because what occurs here with the casting is called flooring. And what that means is the number, if it is, if math.random produces 0 0.99, it is floored, meaning what happens is for the integer, it ignores everything after the decimal. So it just becomes zero. It doesn't care. It doesn't round it up. 0 0.99 is not one to it. It is still just zero. It just ignores everything after the decimal. And that's what's also going to occur down here. Now they want us to uh, change line five into int equals int. Ah, random times 10 plus 1 right here. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And now it will actually produce 10 at times. However, that will mean it will never produce 0. Change line 4 to int dot first. Oh, adding 5 to it. Okay, so now it's, uh, oh, and times 6. Interesting. Huh, <laughs> 10. And so what is occurring here is notice that we added this 6 inside these brackets. So it's multiplying it by 6, but what is it multiplying by 6? Well, some number 0 to 0 0.999 what, uh, by 6 before casting it to an integer. Interesting. What do you notice about the range of values you generate? So it looks like the range of values is always going to be 5 to 9. Which makes sense. It's like when we multiply by 10 down here, the range was 0 to 9. Well, now the range is 0 to 5, but we're adding 5. Or 0 to 5, yeah, and adding 5. So, interesting. Now, add the following, then run the program several times to observe. What do you notice? In third, we're going to times 30 minus 5 and print it. So I'm actually just going to do a copy here at a paste. And run this. And 11, 6, 22. So guys, again, keep in mind that this multiplication is occurring before it is converted into an integer. So the number being output by this is 0 to 0 0.99 multiplied by 30, then it's cast to an integer, right? And then we're subtracting 5. So uh, 0 0.5 times 30 is 15. 15 then, right, is 15, is cast to the integer. And maybe it's 15.111, whatever, but it's cast to an integer. And then we subtract 5, so that would be 10. That can tell you more about the ranges here. This is really cool. I'm excited to see what we're doing in this lesson. Onward.